Okay, so we'll see in this video how to specify uh, an infinite change reaction loop. So let's let's reuse our previous model example and rename it. And the principle to specify the loop is very similar to what we did for the uh, periodic loop. And uh, indeed, we will use uh, a merge node uh, to specify the loop. So let's let's adjust a bit our diagram. Add the merge node, and then uh, put the appropriate control flows to have uh, actually our loop based on our uh, accept change event. So the loop is now specified, so let's uh, experiment a bit to see what's happened. So the execution is now started and we are actually waiting for a change on input x. So let's change the value and see that the system reacts and uh, goes forward uh, the control flow and the data dependencies and we go back to our accept change event. So let's change the value again. The system reacts. And what we see now is that the system does not go forward anymore. And this is because, because we have made um, a typical mistake in our uh, activity diagram. There is a one control flow missing here, so that the loop is not completely closed. So there was nothing to ensure that uh, the value specification would be triggered at each step of the loop. So let's, let's try again. Okay, the system reacts, we perform the loop, we update the value again and we will see that it will go forward. So our loop is now in good shape. 